What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Tyler Man 51 l a.k.a. Lil Young Fly. I'm back again tonight with another reaction. So today, I'm going to be reacting to the Brave Wilderness channel. I'm going to be reacting to one of their previous, one of their oldest videos that they made when Coyote Peterson travels to Arizona to the Sonoran Desert to get stung. By one by the largest wasp in North America, the tarantula hawk. Now you might think this is going to be the most freakish, freak yeah freakish and the most craziest video I'm ever going to make. But it's just for y'all. It's just to show y'all. So make sure I'm gonna let make sure put a, a, a link in the below. Make sure y'all subscribe, and uh, we're gonna get into the reaction. And let's just. Go ahead and get through it, shall we? The bullet ant is the grand finale on my quest to find the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. The tarantula hawk is definitely oh my the last act. And right now, Mark is shooting B-roll of it inside his little glass enclosure. And boy, it does not look happy. It doesn't. I can hear him tapping. Uh, to say that the sting of the tarantula oh, hawk is number two the wings, on the insect sting pain index. It's like being stunned like a with a taser. And they say it puts you into a state of paralysis for up to five minutes where all you can do is scream. Wow. As you can tell, I'm pretty excited all about this. All you can this. do is just scream. All right, Coyote. Paralysis. You okay, Ben? Your heart racing? A million miles a second. This is the most nervous I've ever been to take... A sting or bite from anything. My hand He's is shaking. He's shaking like mad. Are you guys all ready? Oh, yeah. I'm ready if you're ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, that Here thing's ready to get you, pal. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula hawk. Go for it. One. Two. Here we go. Three. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's just the beginning. It's just a spoiler. Oh, come on now. Breaking trail. <sighs> I think we can all agree that I have done Warning. some pretty crazy things. Warning. Following footage contains graphic content. Like the time where I stuck advice. my arm into the mouth of an alligator. To show you why getting an alligator as a pet is not a good idea. Ready? What? Everyone ready? Rolling. You stuck Rolling. your hand in. I, yeah, I saw that video. Rolling. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh! Ooh. Oh yeah, he is into my arm. And he is holding on. Then there was the time. They say the bite force that of an alligator is about one thousand pounds per square inch. Two beaches to show you what it's like to be feasted on uh, by one of the I've world's most notorious parasites. Before, but... Look at that. Yeah, I heard they about leeches. I've just never seen one. Oh, I can definitely feel. Ugh, I hate when they happening. move like that. They it look like, like sandpaper little grinding against my parasites. Skin. Oh, they are you parasites. It, they drank a lot of blood. And it's all about the amount of anticoagulant that actually went into my hand. I may be bleeding for hours at this point. Oh, yeah. Then there was that time I took a sting from the velvet ant, which is ranked as having the fourth most painful sting in the insect it kingdom. Looks like a little ladybug like thing. That's a long time. <laughs> <scene. laughs> I didn't even oh know those gosh, things could sting. Like I said, I do some pretty crazy things. It looks things. like nothing. It looks but like the a reason I do them ant. is so that we can um, learn beetle. about these animals, the dangers of their bites or stings, and so that ultimately we walk away with a newfound respect. How is it that you're doing all this? On our planet? Yes, you're still alive. That's ah! impressive. Ah! He's been bitten and been stung by multiple species of animals. Ah, can you see that? Oh, man. This was not a good idea, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo, doggy. However, in order to be a part of this they blocked it out. I have to first get myself up close with the animals. And sometimes United that's States. easier said than done. Sonoran Desert. Careful. He's trying to be as careful as he can. He's got to get it. Think he sees it. Oh. What happened? What? What happened? Oh, what, no. happened? Oh, no. what happened? What happened? 
Homie, what happened? Ah, what's wrong? Did you catch it? Yeah, I caught it. You bent down like that. Ah, uh, but the bad news is. Oh, I caught oh, it. Oh, now that's oh, what I call a prickly. That's called. Oh, that's what I call a prickly situation. He got cactuses all oh, over him. Hold on a second. Let me get this under control. Oh my gosh. Ouch. Did you get the yeah, that's a whole lot of cactus on you. You got the you got the insect. I'm. Mean, it's cool. It's just that you had all the cacti on you. That, that looked painful. Nervous? Do I look nervous? Yep. Yeah, guys, I am the most nervous I have ever been before one of these bite or sting episodes. As we know, yesterday I made this awesome catch. I caught a tarantula, a and I was so excited. And then I fell into a troy cactus. You might see me yawn a couple of times doing the video. <laughs> Oh, that has to hurt. And then I realized what I had done. I set the table for today where I'm going to be stung by a giant spider wasp. Now, the tarantula spider hawk wasp. is the second most You're painful spider -Man? sting this is a spider in the wasp. insect kingdom. The only thing more painful than this is the bullet ant. And I felt that to work my way up the rungs of experiencing these painful ant. insect I stings, I kind of had to see what it was so. like to be stung by a tarantula no, hawk hadn't. before I actually take on the bullet I heard about the video. Challenge. I just never watched it. <sighs> Deep I heard breath. about it getting stung All by right. the bullet ant. Let's bring in the wasp. Never seen the video. Oh though. boy, this um, is gonna be bad. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh my, my god, that, that is a big, big old wasp. That is the largest is... species of wasp in the United States, oh ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, I can now hear his wings insect. just beating in the castle. Stop. Just see a hawk. Like... Well, it's not a tarantula, and it's not a hawk, but like a hawk, they hunt. For tarantulas. What? what these females what? will do is fly around in the sky and they can actually sense chemicals in the air that will tell them where a tarantula's burrow exists. They will land on the ground, skitter across, and go down into the burrow. They will use their front arms to tempt that tarantula to come up out of its burrow. And that is where a boxing match begins. The tarantula hawk will dodge left and right, taunting that tarantula until it rears up on its back legs and exposes its fangs. Now you would think that tarantula is going to bite down and kill the tarantula hawk. Not gonna happen. This hawk is so quick, what? she will spin her abdomen up underneath the belly of the tarantula, insert that quarter inch stinger, and the venom will instantly put that tarantula into a state of paralysis. Now the tarantula is not dead. It's just like this. Ah, I'm in intense pain and I cannot move. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the true horror story begins. It's in a state of paralysis and the female pulls the tarantula back down into its burrow and there she proceeds to lay an egg on top of its abdomen. She then leaves the burrow and the tarantula is left there, still alive and in a permanent state of paralysis. Eventually that egg hatches and the larva then eats the tarantula while it's still alive. How's that for one crazy horror story? Oh, okay, so they say that, that is the a horror story the like I have never heard before. Is so painful, it will put even the a larva hatches into a state of paralysis for about and it five eats minutes. The tarantula I know what you're thinking. Coyote, alive. This while it's in a permanent crazy. state of paralysis. Do you want to know what that Coyote's is thinking right now? Crazy, me this horrifying. is absolutely crazy. But I think if you guys are ready, I am ready to be stung. By the tarantula hawk. Here we go, guys. I'm not ready. Chance, bring in that butterfly net. I'm going to lift this up. We're going to actually place the capsule inside of the butterfly net, just like that. Lift it up. Now, I have a set of entomology forceps here. See that? And these have a very soft what tip. Those I'm going to be able to pick for? up the wasp yeah, with the these hold forceps. The what I'm going to do first is reach my arm in there and remove the glass capsule. Once the glass capsule's out, the net That's will fall dangerous. down on the wasp, and I'll be able to insert the forceps in there, pick up the wasp, and remove it from the net. Okay, ready? Here we go. So the butterfly net is here to try to prevent the wasp from flying away. I'm yeah, trying so hard to catch this wasp. It's only one forty-six in the We've been trying for days to catch one of these. <laughs> And it was I'm a very painful well. experience to get it based on the fact that I fell into the choya. Okay, ready. Here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Removing the glass capsule. 
Trying not to disturb the wasp. Okay, this is good. You don't want to provoke Part one. It too early. Part one is good. I'm gonna remove the stick. Stick is out. Ugh. Okay, now I'm going to fold this over. Look at that. Back. Look at the this size the of those rings. Those rings are huge as a mod. I have never seen no. It's going through my mind. It's still getting stung like right now before. just through the net. I have to get it perfectly with the entomology forceps. If I don't get it right on its thorax, but the largest stinging bug in the oh, man, world, I think I'm not selling. Trust me, I'm not selling. the song. Japanese giant hornet. That's what oh, I think. Boy. Or the oh, tarantula. God. It's either two of those. Oh, boy. That is the position that we want. Oh boy. Okay, so we got to hurry up and do this. Oh, that is a perfect turn right there. Now, perfect before ball, look how much my hand is shaking. Swarming. Hold on. Get a shot of her. <sighs> okay, oh boy, look at got a really going. good hold. Wow, look at that abdomen going. I got a really good hold on her. It took me a minute to get look the right hold, but the bone. right hold is what is important. Is now, awesome. I do have the glass capsule right here, so I'm hoping that I have the wherewithal after the sting to quickly pick up the glass enclosure and put it back over top of the wasp so it doesn't escape and we can get some more b-roll shots with it but guys do be aware that if i do immediately don't go into a state of paralysis the over the bug. just <laughs> let the wasp fly away don't, don't try to grab it don't do anything it'll be back in the wild and everything will be fine try and sting you too right, it. again why you, you try to put the capsule over the top the only second the this blood. is the most nervous i've ever been to take a stinger oh, bite no, from no. anything my hand is shaking are you guys all ready your oh, yeah. hand I'm is ready. shaking like I'm crazy. Ready. I'm ready. Okay, here we go. This is not a spoiler this time. I'm Coyote Peterson. It's real. And I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula hawk. Let's go for it. It's One. Hawk. Two. I'm going to cover my eyes, but here we go. I have to move three. Uh, uh, uh. Ah! 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 Oh, that has to be hurting really bad. Ooh, no. big doggy. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Okay. Damn, he's screaming like it's on top of your lungs. Tell me what you're feeling. John, I can't move my arm! <laughs> he can't move his arm. He looks like he cannot move his arm. At all, he just looks like he's in a para in paralysis that is right the most now. Intense pain I've ever felt. Just I heard about involved. arthritis, but <laughs> yeah, I heard of arthritis, and that's terrible for most people. But this is even worse. Paralysis. I'm getting nervous. Do you feel anything like you worried? Nope, I just can't move my arm. He is intense pain. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Said he's gonna cry. He said, "It's like my arm is in a state of paralysis right now." Uh, 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 that little nigga uh, got you good. He was ready to get you. you need that's why I don't. That's why I don't. Oh, wow. I don't like mainly oh, going wow. outside very often sometimes. <sighs> Because, you know, these bugs and everything, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really a wasp and a bug and a wasp uh, and a bee fan. Wave of pain. It's not. It says second wave of pain. That thing still want to try to get you. Yeah, it's actually while it's in the capsule. It's receding. It's cooling off. That zone right there you can't control is a yourself, hot buddy. radiating pain. And you can see the stinger where it went in right there. That red mark. I've read that it's like getting a little tased point with where a taser the, gun. Where the I've never got been tased before. The, his arm. But I can tell you that the pain is unbelievable right now. All up and down my forearm. Wow, I actually slightly liken it to the Gila monster at this point. It feels really hot. Really, really hot. It's ah. Really hot? Ah, hot to the that touch. Hot. Wow, it's put you can see if my oh. arm is warm to you. Oh yeah, it's all sometimes so it's venom can do ah. that, can it? Can it make, oh, it oh, might make you make your blood or your body oh. temperature hot, maybe. Oh. It depends on what kind of venom you okay. take. Okay. Neurotoxin. Okay. Let's come back into the scene here. Pilot, uh, 
highly oh, well, highly talk to them. Oh, I am lightheaded at the moment, but the sting from the tarantula hawk is like serious. It. I can see why it's ranked as two on the insect sting pain index. And at this juncture, he wants I think to it's get safe out to say that I've worked my way up the ladder. And he and said it's that the, 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 in, in the insect sting, sting all pain in index. It for ranks that as a two. One. Trust me, it's coming. I'm Coyote and Peterson. On... Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. All right, let's let this go back off into the we'll desert. We'll do. We'll see you on the next adventure. We we'll see you. the tarantula hawk back into the wild. And as it flew away, I think we were all a bit relieved that this sting was over and done with. You know, I well, looked the on the internet. The they sting, said that the Japanese the giant the hornet in the insect, the insect sting the pain index, index it ranks it only as a lasted two. for about five minutes. And uh, I had no major adverse reaction. The tarantula reaction. hawk is ranked as a However, two. However, my arm was sore for the rest of the day. And 24 hours later, mm -hmm. it looked like a water balloon. And it really it. itches. And I really shouldn't itch it, but... That's the after ah, effect that was so a venom. Good. The tarantula the hawk is an extraordinary effect. insect. And while their sting is powerful, they have no interest I in like the blue humans. coloration on the insect. I just don't like it when it wild, moves like that. Admire it from a safe you know, distance. not enough animals are really blue, you know. absolutely nothing to fear. That is... It's the blue whale, the largest animal in the world. Have you ever wondered how to properly care for an insect sting? You know what, guys? So, this has been make sure to check out the this behind the adventure. craziest and, and most forget, intense video I have ever watched. Crew on so, this uh, of trail. let me know what it oh. is like for y'all. And, uh, well, this has been it. So, this is, I just reacted to, we just all watched Brave Wilderness, Coyote Peterson getting stung by the tarantula hawk, a.k.a., you know, spider wasp you know what i'm saying so with that being said make sure you leave a like and subscribe and make sure uh leave a comment down below and uh hopefully y'all and y'all gonna get some more content soon so uh stay tuned press that notification button um uh, and hope and i'll see y'all in, in the next adventure peace out